This is How to Drink, the show about making cocktails and how to drink them. I'm Greg, and I have never been a professional bartender. I've never even had a job in a bar. I don't worry too much about precision in technique, because at the end of the day, if the drink you like is in the glass, you did it right. Let's get going. Today, we are going to make the granddaddy of communal tiki drinks, uh, the, the flaming bowl at which we all kneel and worship, the scorpion bowl. It's 32 ounces of rum and gin and syrups and juices, and everybody's gonna stick a straw on it and love it, and it's gonna be a lot of fun. If you've ever thought about drinking as a team, the scorpion bowl is the drink for you. Uh, and so, in the spirit of teamwork, let's make a scorpion bowl. Today we're gonna need both shakers, uh, so let's get started. Uh, we're gonna add into the big side of our shaker two full ounces of lime juice. Normally, I would build this drink, uh, any drink in the small tin, but because of the fact that we're gonna roll this and because of the quantity of the ingredients, uh, I feel a little more comfortable starting out in the big tin, uh, and you'll see why in a few minutes. Uh, we need four ounces of fresh orange juice, and the freshest orange juice is made by juicing your own oranges, so. That's what I'm all about, that's what we're doing. Some people would say, hey, all you're doing is putting together a bunch of ingredients and rum and gin and who cares if your ingredients are fresh? Well, I'm gonna tell you what, if you make this drink two different ways and you use fresh hand-squeezed orange juice and you use Tropicana in the other one, uh, you will definitely taste the difference. Uh, we need one and a half ounces of Demerara syrup. That sounds like a lot, but remember, this is a 32 ounce drink. Uh, demerara syrup is nothing more than an inverse simple syrup made with demerara sugar. And frankly, if you have a preferred simple syrup that is inverse, if you just like using white sugar, I don't care. And I won't tell, I won't call the sugar police on you. You can use whatever you want. I need two ounces, two whole ounces of Orgeau. Orgeau is a uh, old style, French almond syrup. Don't just try to use almond extract in its place. Um, get yourself some Orgeau. I strongly encourage you uh, to look at small hand foods if you're looking for a commercially available one or to make your own, in which case you can watch my episode on how to make Orgeau. We need two ounces of brandy. I'm gonna use H by Hein. Um, I think this is a fine product, particularly for this case. Uh, I also like Pierre Ferrand Original, both of which would be fine. If you have a preferred brandy, go with that. Uh, I do think that um, cognac would be the order of the day, so I would steer clear of some more adventurous brandies, not pear brandy, not a pisco. Uh, just keep it pretty standard. We need four ounces of a London dry gin, and if you've been watching the show, you know that when I uh, when a drink calls for London dry gin, I tend to go with Ford's gin. Now I need four ounces of lightly aged um, rum. We're going to use Plantation Three Star. Uh, it's an excellent rum. Okay, and that's the ingredients for this whole shebang. Um, so if you were wondering why we were building this in the big tin, uh, I can tell you that we are here right now with our ingredients, so there would be no way to fit this into a small tin. I'm gonna take Smuggler's Cove advice here. We're going to now take a second big tin, and I'm gonna roll this a little bit just to combine these ingredients and make sure they're fully mixed. I'm going to now back those into my small tins. And now I'm going to add ice to both of these, cracked ice, and shake the living hell out of them. Give them a shake. And that's it, we got frost on the outside of these. These guys are shaked up. We don't need to be crazy about it. Let's get to drinking. We gotta have our, um, our scorpion bowl ready. Uh, I got this guy off of Amazon. I'll provide the link if you're interested. Uh, but you know, anything will be fine. Uh, we don't even need to strain this. We just wanna pour these straight in with their ice and everything right in. And I think we're in good shape here. 
Now that is missing something in my opinion. I think we're going to need to add a little bit of fire to this, don't you? And the way to do that, you might think that it would be to do a float of overproof rum on here. Um, that will yield an almost invisible and very cool blue flame that won't be very satisfying at all. This is the secret to beautiful tiki fire drinks. Uh, this is a simple crouton. We have soaked these in some pure lemon extract. I certainly can't claim to have invented this. I got the idea from Smuggler's Cove. Take said crouton, place it in your drink. Um, this drink in particular, this bowl has a little volcano, but in its absence, I could take a um, hollowed out lime half and float that in my drink and let that be its vessel. And we have tiki fire. Uh, and that'll actually burn for quite a while like that. It's basically a, a, a candle. Uh, but I am not yet done. We got this drink on fire. Let's just garnish it with a little uh, fresh nutmeg there. Whew. Mahalo. Aloha. I think we should share this with the crew, guys. Get in here. Come on. Let's have a, let's have a good time. Thank you so much for watching How to Drink. This is our crew. We are thoroughly enjoying this drink. We are all getting hammered. I don't know how we even managed to do this. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the show. Uh, everybody say hi and wave. This is our cinematographer, John, our gaffer, Chris, my producer, Stefano, my, assist, uh, my, uh, my production assistant, Andrew, the assistant camera, Chris. Steve. And, uh, Steve. <laughs> this is our assistant camera, Steve. I'm very drunk. Bo is doing some behind the scenes stuff for us. Dana, we'll call our production coordinator. Hey, just so you know, when you really serve this for your friends, you should put the fire out first. But you know, for TV, we can leave it going because we're all trained professionals, right? Uh, so I hope you've enjoyed the show. And if you have, please subscribe. Uh, we'll see you guys next week with another drink uh, on how to drink. Uh, thanks. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. No, you don't have to hide. You're supposed to drink it. You're supposed to, you're supposed to drink it. Where are you going? This is for you. Drink this. Oh, you just set your straw on fire.